we are learning more about the victims in this senseless crime. They include two 14-year-old boys and two teachers. Jerika Duncan has been talking with her friends and neighbors. Jerika, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you. It is obvious in speaking with family and friends of the victims that all of them have been described as people who made a difference in the lives of others who will truly be missed. The horrific deaths of 14-year-old freshman Mason Shermerhorn and Christian Angelo have reverberated through Appalachie High School. Fellow students shared their memories of Angelo Thursday. He, he was a very sweet kid. He did not deserve this, neither did uh, the coach or everyone else. Mason Shermerhorn is being remembered for his upbeat personality. The day of the shooting, Chaplain Ronald Clark told me he went inside the school to help find him and bring him to his anxiously awaiting mother. He soon discovered that Shermerhorn had been killed. It hit home uh, when, she, when she found out that she thought she was coming to pick up her son to go home. Math teacher Christina Urami was a 53-year-old Romanian immigrant. One student told CBS News Urami took a bullet that could have hit another child. Father Nikolai Klempis was a pastor at her church and says he knew her for more than 20 years. I would not be surprised that she would do such thing because she was dedicated to her students, to her, to the children. 39-year-old Richard Aspinwall split time between teaching math in a classroom and defense on a football field. Sophomore Isaiah Hooks says his coach was a kind man. I wish it was all just a dream. I mean, me and my team, me and my friends, we could all just wake up and it's just still Wednesday morning. And nothing, none of this had ever really happened. Friends and neighbors gathered outside the school Thursday and laid flowers. Some students returning to campus for the first time since the shooting. I wanted to just enjoy my senior year and now I'm mourning the loss of two teachers, two students. A loss of myself. I feel empty. Of the nine people who were hospitalized because of gunshot wounds, the sheriff said last night that all are expected to make a full recovery. Tony? Trika, thank you very much. You know, the charging of parents is something that's happened once before in that yes. prior case. It, yes. it is a development that I think people can root for because if there's not political will to put guns in lockboxes, mm -hmm. you can at least hold parents accountable when those guns end up in the hands of their children. Yeah, I hope we see more of this. And, I'm, you know, the other thing that strikes me is that they did it so quickly. Because I went from sad to angry when I heard that the father, knowing what he knew about his son, gave him that kind of, yeah. any kind of weapon, but certainly that kind of yeah, weapon. Yeah, he deserves a trial and he'll have one, but yeah. it's yeah. a development that we're watching closely. Drika, thank you again.